you doing? This is Chad. Um, I've got another video of my pug. It's been a while. Last time you guys seen her, she was only about um, six months old, maybe eight months old. What, August, September, I can't remember. Yeah, she was only about four months old, I think. But anyways, today is uh, November 13th, 2011. She's like 15 months old right now. And there she is, lovely Jeannie. Now, like we showed you before, or if you haven't seen the previous video, we showed you that we can um, show her how to shake. Jeannie, shake. Good girl. Other paw. Good girl. And then she'll she'll lay down. Jeannie, lay down. Yeah, see, she's learned all that stuff ever since she was um, about four uh, months I'm old. A, I'm living in Lake Mills, Iowa. I'm a member of the Lake Mills Ambulance Service. And it's a volunteer program. And what we got to do is we got to carry these pagers. And whenever this pager goes off, it makes a noise like a doo doo, beep, 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 beep. And now, see, I could tell Jeannie to go to her crate. This is where she sleeps and whatever not. And that's where I put her uh, when she. Uh, when, when, whenever I got to go somewhere and I can't take her with me. Otherwise, I take her anywhere and everywhere I go. But anyways, that's where she sleeps too because she's not fully, completely potty trained yet. Pugs are stubborn for potty training. Although she's doing really well, she doesn't poop or pee in the house um, during the waking hours, but I just don't trust her And yet. I found this ring. Well, actually, a friend of mine found this ringtone off of the Internet, downloaded it, sent it to me to my cell phone, and I thought, you know, I'll use that as a training tool. And that training tool was to get Jeannie in her crate as quickly as possible whenever she hears that pager tone go off. And here's my cell phone right here. And there you'll see pager tone, a little fuzzy there. But anyway, I used that one night like three or four times. And to get her in her crate as fast as she could get in there. So that means I could just get her locked up real fast and I could get in my car and I could head down to the ambulance shed. But anyway... Jeannie, come here, come here, come here. We're gonna show you. We're gonna show you a demonstration on when she least expects it that she's gonna um, hear that pager go off. And I mean, it's a lot louder on the regular pager. It's kind of soft here on the phone, but I'm gonna put it as close to the um, microphone on this video cam so you can hear it and just watch her reaction. You're gonna see her jump back, and she's gonna Let's run go right to my her bedroom. Crate. You see her crate's way back there. Where is she? There she is. Okay. I'm going to... Come here, Jeannie. Come here. Come here. You want to come up on my bed? Huh? Look there. That a good girl. See, now her crate's way out there. Now, I'm going to put this behind my back, basically, so she at least expects it. So just give her some regular commands. Jeannie, sit. Lay down. Good girl. Yes, a good girl. But anyways, I got the phone and she can't see it. I'm going to have it go off. And, yeah, she's just adorable, isn't she? Jeannie, look over here. Show them how pretty you are. Yes, you are, aren't you? And usually when that pager goes off, then I just yell out crate. And then um, she'll go real fast. There it goes. Okay. You being a good girl? Huh? You want to show them what you do in case of an emergency? When the ambulance pager goes off? What do you do? Huh? What do you yeah. do? I mean, she'll run right out to it, but um, they, sometimes she'll run right into the crate real fast, or um, she'll run out to her crate, and I'll get out there behind her, and um, I'll tell her in the crate, and she'll go. So, here we go again. Get in the crate! Good girl! Good girl! Now, how great is that? I only had to practice that with her like four times and she's got it. Right when she hears that go off, boom, she's running right to it.